So in today's video, I am gonna be doing a first impressions of Body Shop products that I've recently purchased. I literally ordered a few things from a friend of mine who does a body shop at home, which is what I used to do, and they are here. So this is like my box of stuff. One of the items is my mum's, but I am still gonna be reviewing that because I also have that anyway myself. So I will just talk about that. I am gonna be ordering some more stuff off the body shop in a few weeks time because I sort of did half and half half now half then so there will be another haul coming in probably a few weeks so stay tuned but I wanted to make this a first impression so I literally give you like my first opinions of the products when I got them yesterday I did kind of look at them like poke around with them not properly try them but just feel the texture and stuff on my hands and everything but I haven't actually like properly like really tried it and looked at it properly so I'm going to show you what I've got there's not too much in here because I don't like to buy loads of stuff I would rather just get a few things that I really want and then like really kind of review them and talk about them properly so get a little beverage if you want because this video is probably going to be quite long oh also forgot to say before I start I have made my website live again so I put my website on the reason why I did that is because I had taken my website down for a little bit or I'd put everything out of stock purely because of like the whole coronavirus thing and not wanting to go to the post office too often and also I just really wanted a break because it is a lot of like mind power and I, I just feel like I needed a little break and also I wanted to focus on my next product that I'm gonna be bringing out but anyway it's live right now and I brought it back on because I was actually making a few sales on eBay and I was thinking well if I'm posting people's stuff for eBay then I might as well put my website back on again so just to remind you this is one of my products this is the fresh face detox clay face mask made by me with tea tree in it and then i have my tea tree oil which is 30 ml when you buy tea tree oil it will usually be 10 ml so yeah this one's quite popular on ebay everyone's liking that little guy um probably because it is also used in an antiseptic which in these times is probably much needed um i do also have face mask brushes as well i've got another product coming out very soon that i'm excited about um i'm literally going to be ordering quite a lot of stuff for that today that'll be out in a couple of weeks hopefully but I do have to like make it and test it and make sure that it's you know okay so we will see about that but I'll link my website in the description if you want anything that I've mentioned so far but anyway I'm gonna get on with the haul now so first product is oh I already got it out okay this is yeah the vitamin E gel moisture cream now this I have tried the previous one uh, the previous one I have tried one in a similar range so one in the same range but it's a similar product but this one is a gel so it's not like a moisturized consistency it is a gel consistency and it's 50 ml you can get I think you can get 100 ml I'm not sure but I always like to go for the 50 ml one I'm not entirely sure why but it says it's 100% vegan and it's lightweight facial oil free gel moisturizer so it doesn't have oil in and when you'll see my first impression in a minute um but when i first applied this i did notice that it didn't feel oily or like tacky at all and it just sunk straight into the skin and it didn't feel like you had product on it just felt really smooth and soft so that does make sense and it says it locks in moisture for all day hydration so it is like hydrating product i'll show you my first impression of this now so i'm about to use and try out the vitamin e gel moisture cream i have used the vitamin e normal moisturizer not entirely sure the exact name of that and i really liked it but i wanted to try the gel one because it sounded like a little bit more interesting and it's for normal and combination skin i would say that mine is kind of like normal to oily it used to be like really oily but now it's not as bad so i did try this a little bit yesterday but like it was just rough like it wasn't like in my proper skincare routine so obviously i will have to use this a few like weeks or a couple of weeks to actually know if it works and try it out properly but i'll give my first impressions so this is what it looks like really close up i'll try and show you it is like an exact gel consistency like it isn't a moisturizer at all in terms of like how it looks or its consistency it literally does look like a gel oh the camera nearly fell off that would have been terrible um so i'm gonna take a little bit of that i always like to take a little bit to start with like rather than apply loads and then i can see if i need to add more 
just because we don't want to waste product and then I'll start to blend it in I'm trying to show you like really close so that you can actually see oh that's nice and cooling I think because it's a gel it makes it cooling oh by the way if my face goes red it's because it always goes red when I put products on but then it's literally like two seconds later it's fine Mmm, that smells really nice like in comparison to the other one it smells a bit different but it smells better it does feel really really like moisturizing and hydrating i think hydrating is probably the word to use it does feel like really hydrating and especially for the morning that's like really nice my previous moisturizer which was from simple would take me like a minute to actually work it into my skin because it was so like thick and it would just kind of like look white on my skin this obviously is a gel it blends in really quickly and then leaves your skin feeling really soft so i do really like that and my first impressions are positive and i will let you know in like a favorites video or something if i like this or not because in my favorites videos now i'm doing my feelings my favorites and fails of the month so you get to see things that i don't like as well the second thing i got was the vitamin c glow protection lotion the reason why i got this is because every morning i've been doing my normal skincare routine and then applying sun cream afterwards because um you you need to apply sun cream if you really want to protect your skin even when it's not sunny outside because it's still you know the sun is still out it's always out apart from night time um so you still if you want to have like good skin when you're older you have to put some cream on to protect your skin and also you you know you just need to do that anyway basically um but i wanted to get something that wasn't just my like normal sun cream that i'll put on my body i wanted to get something that was specifically designed for the face and this is a glow protect lotion it's got spf 30 in it and it's for dull tired and grumpy skin it is part of their vitamin c range which i do really love and um spf 30 is really good for a product like this so basically i'll moisturize do my serum and then this is when i will go in with this product and then i will do my primer for my makeup etc so this is like the step before my primer and yeah it's just so that i can have like an spf on my face and it does also feel like a moisturizer so i'll use my gel moisturizer for hydration and then go in with this little guy here it smells so good like honestly i love that so much i was gonna read what it says on the back but it doesn't say anything on the back so there we go but yeah do really like that obviously i will have to kind of test it out more to give a proper review now i am using the vitamin c glow protect lotion this has got spf 30 in it so i'm just gonna pop this on so i'll try and show you the consistency if i would like focus on my hand I won't use too much again because I don't like wasting product, especially when it's not the cheapest in the world. I always do the thing where I like disperse it around my face first and then blend it out just because I like to make sure that it's even. Then I blend out. I am addicted to the smell of the vitamin C range. I've got so many products from that range because I just love the smell of it and it just makes me feel really like nice and fresh. I just love the smell okay so it just feels like a normal moisturizer obviously it does have um sun cream in it which is the main reason why i got this because i'm sick of using like actual sun cream even though the actual smell of sun cream reminds me of like summer and holidays and it's quite nice to put it on but i wanted to use something that was a little bit less kind of oily and like sticky this like mattifies down really nicely so when you do your makeup on top it's not like really oily or anything so yeah first impressions of this it blends in really nice it's smooth leaves your skin feeling really soft and smooth and it doesn't kind of leave your skin feeling like it's got sun cream on or like it's oily or anything like that like it does mattify down quite nice and i really like that so i will obviously let you know a little bit more about that in the future also in the vitamin c range which is my favorite range hence why i've got so many products from there um, but this is the vitamin c energizing face mist and this is 100 ml now i saw this on there they do have loads of face mists on there that are a lot cheaper than this one however they are also a lot smaller and i just really wanted this because i know how much i love the vitamin c range and i also wanted something as a setting spray because i did run out of my setting spray and as like an alternative what i did is i mixed water with my toner 
so I did like half water half toner and that seemed to be working quite good and um, the toner that I have is the body shop seaweed toner so yeah that that actually worked really well so if you're like on a budget and you've got a toner mix it with water and that actually works really well um, but this I just really really wanted and I'm hoping that it will like make my makeup look quite nice i have actually put it on my skin today but you will see my first impression of it in a second um but you can put it on top of makeup or you can put it um on bare skin and i think the majority of people or what this is marketed for is putting it on just your skin so on no makeup days that is exactly what i will do okay so i'm gonna do two clips for this product because you can use it on bare skin or you can use it after your makeup so this is the vitamin c energizing face mist it's 100 ml it's actually quite a big bottle compared to my usual setting sprays they're a lot smaller and the other setting sprays at the body shop are also a lot smaller so bear that in mind but obviously this one is a little bit more expensive so i'm just going to give it a little spray i haven't tested it on top of makeup yet i did test this a little bit like on my face yesterday but i'll let you know like the smell and everything Just dry that down. Again, love the smell. It's part of the vitamin C range. I swear this is like, like the seventh product I've got from that range. I just love it. Um, so first impressions, love the smell. It has like, I think when you've got a spray or a setting spray, the actual like spray itself is really important sorry it was just out of focus a little bit um and when i spray this it sprays a lot of product onto the face i hate it when you have a spray and it literally sprays like the tiniest bit or you get like little splodges around your face this definitely sprays evenly which is good because if you put this on top of makeup and it has splodges then it can like ruin your makeup so that's really good and i like that about this but you will see me try it on now when I've got my makeup on and I'll tell you what I think about it then. So I've now put my makeup on. I just went and did it and I am going to use my setting spray. I nearly used it without filming it but I was like no. So let's see how this goes. Give it a little shake first. I usually have like a little flat sheet that I use to like dry this down. But I put it upstairs already and I threw my ring off. Okay, this isn't actually marketed as a makeup setting spray. It's just like a face mist in general. It's just a face mist in general. However, I do personally think that you can use it as a face mist um, on top of makeup. And it has gone on quite nicely. There's no, sorry, I'm looking in my mirror, but there's no like any like bits of it that's on the face. So you could definitely use this as like a setting spray for makeup it is meant to be one that's like an energizing one the vitamin c range is meant to be glowing so you would expect your skin to be a little bit glowy maybe um but overall i actually quite like that because it doesn't sometimes when you put a setting spray on it feels like you can really feel it on your face and it looks quite like oily in a way this doesn't look like that but it definitely doesn't look matte either so i do quite like that um but obviously i will have to keep using it day by day um to see but this video is just first impressions hence why i'm giving my first impression and then coming up to one of my favorite things that i've bought this is the hemp heavy duty lip care and it's basically um just a lip balm and i haven't used a proper like lip balm in a stick like this in like years and years and years i have currently got the grapefruit lip butter from the body shop but it is quite greasy and i you know it's okay for nighttime but I just wanted something that I could have in the daytime as well and this is quite lightweight and nice you will see my first impression in a second their um, hemp range is quite famous for how like nourishing and moisturizing it is especially their hand cream which you will see in a second um, but yeah it doesn't really say anything sort of specifically for this apart from that it's really good for dry lips I don't really get dry lips often but sometimes I do but I just like to moisturize them just to make sure that I don't kind of thing um, so yeah I really like that little guy and I think the packaging looks really nice. So I picked up that. Right, so now I'm gonna do like a slight kind of second impression of the Body Shop Hemp Heavy Duty Lip Care. Now this does not smell like the hand cream, thank heavens, um, because a lot of people are a little bit funny with that. Sorry, I keep smelling it just to make sure that I'm being, you know, accurate there. Um, but 
a lot of people don't like the hand cream smell i personally do it isn't like a nice smelling smell you'll see it in a minute because it's also in this haul but it is the kind of smell that makes you feel like you're putting herbs or something grassy um on your hands but this does not smell like that so you're not going to be having that smell all day because remember if you put in something on your lips and it has a scent it's underneath your nose so you're probably going to smell it all day this is fine it's clear so no like pigment to it at all and yeah i'm gonna put this on and see how it goes Um, thoughts is that it doesn't feel tacky or sticky the body but not the body butters the lip butters from the body shop can feel like a like you've got product on your lips because they do feel really buttery and it kind of wipes off quite easily and it's not the kind of thing that i can keep on my lips throughout the day i actually put it on leave it on for an hour and then wipe it off because i end up just eating it and it doesn't taste great um whereas something like this is comfortable to wear all day and makes your lips like really soft and the hemp range is really good at making like your skin really soft especially the hand cream so i would recommend and yeah i just wanted something that wasn't like really oily this is not oily it doesn't you don't feel like you've got loads of product on your lips and i am definitely gonna buy this little guy again if i run out of him which obviously i will if i'm using it second to last i've got this which is actually my mum's she put in a little order she's got the hemp hard working hand protector and this is the 100 mil I, I, can you get a smaller one of this i'm not sure if you can get a smaller version of this um but you know you do get a lot of product in these and this is one of their like most famous products that they have because of how good it works a lot of people know about this product especially if you suffer with dry skin this is like a miracle product um on your hands also i do sometimes if i ever get like which is quite rare because i do have slightly oily skin but if i do ever get dry skin anywhere on my face i do actually pop this on because i just know how good it is and how like well it will work for getting rid of that so my mum's got this i do have my own i do have one myself um i do really like it as you can see like it's nearly gone uh, i haven't been using it recently which you'll see in the first impressions is because that my um, hands don't get dry but i do really love this and yeah you get so much product for your money okay so this is the hemp hardworking hand protector i did just show you the hemp lip balm but we are now um, looking at this obviously this is my mum's so i'm not going to use this one but i'm going to use the one that i've already got i actually don't use this that often even though it is really good but the main reason for that is is because my hands never ever ever get dry there is actually a little bit of dry skin on this finger here so maybe that will be good to test it out and to see like how good it is at getting rid of that but obviously in this video i can't really show you that too well but I do love this a lot of people do swear by this product so i'll try and show you like a close-up of like the texture and everything on my hand it oh my god no dropped it again so i'll just take a bit on my hand so it looks like that it is very very thick like it's the kind of consistency where it isn't like a thin sort of i don't know like you can get moisturizers and like hand creams from the body shop that are a lot thinner in consistency the hemp one isn't it's very thick and nourishing so i'm just gonna put that on my like bit of dry skin but overall my hands don't get like dry at all so that's why i don't tend to use hand creams that much but when they do this product is really really good and yeah like i said the smell is quite strong but i do quite like it others don't so yeah i don't this is not a first impressions of this product because obviously i've used it tons and tons however um if you compare like how long this lasts like look how big these are they last so long like so long because you get so much product and a little goes a long way so yeah then finally we have this little bath bomb i did open it because in the first impressions clip i did actually open it to smell it because i can't actually use it because um i don't have a bath so that's sad um but i am going to use it when lockdown's over and i go to my mum's and have a bath um but yeah this is just the moringa bath bubble i did actually get it for free my friend charlotte who does the body shop at home she did a little competition it was like spot the difference um my friend emma 
did the competition and got 30% off plus a free bath bubble and she quickly messaged me and was like Georgia you need to do this really quickly so I was like oh my god because it was like the first five people um, that will win it and I quickly did it and I won a free bath bubble and this is actually the first one I've ever tried I've never tried one of these before and it does smell really good but you will see about that in a second so yeah if it is good then I will like use more of these so yeah and they're also only £1.50 so they're quite cheap right last one so obviously I can't do a first impression of this really because you know it's a bath bomb you have to put it in a bath to use it properly and I don't have a bath in my flat so I am actually gonna have to wait until I go um, back to my mum's when lockdown is over however I am gonna open it and smell it and let you know what it smells like it's the moringa bath bubble I can't open it because I just put the hand cream on and my hands are all sticky ah there we go right I'll show you what it looks like on the inside as well I've never had a body shop bath bubble even when I was selling them I never actually used one. Ooh, that's not oh my god that smells so good I was not ready for that that actually smells really good I was not expecting it to smell that good and it is in the shape of a love heart that smells really good and that's the moringa scent but I'm sure like the other scents smell really good too so now I've got to keep that safe because otherwise if any water hits that it's just gonna fizzle away I'm glad I opened that and smelt it because now you know that it smells really good that is everything in my little box of stuff from the body shop I am going to be doing like a little haul soon well so I say soon in a few weeks of a few more things um but yeah I do love body shop products and even though I don't like sell things for them anymore I will still buy stuff from there because that doesn't mean that I don't like the products just because I'm not doing that um but yeah remember to check out my website as well because it is live again it is linked in the description and if you've got any questions about any of the products then leave them in the comments and do subscribe and I will see you in my next video goodbye